SportsNola.com. Wani Van Gilder visiting with a familiar face to sports fans in New Orleans. Arnie Filco back in town was part of the National Basketball Retired Players Association, uh, putting on an event over here at, at Tulane's Hertz Center. Well, let's start there. Talk about the, the event that you're having here today and, and what it means for some of these former players to be able to give back to the community. Sure. First of all, it's wonderful to be back in New Orleans, uh, adopted hometown, and get back here as often as I can. This is a program, a national program, called Full Court Press, uh, Prep for Success. And we do this program all over the country. Um, uh, kind of half-day program involving basketball, but a lot of life skills, a lot of uh, good, hard talk with the kids, honest talk. And it's just a way to, for us to give back to the communities and utilize all of our great legends to not only teach basketball, to teach a game of life to the kids. What, what are some of the things uh, specifically that, that, that they'll hear about today? I know there are basketball drills going on, but there's a lot of off-the-court things going on. Just uh, s some of the things they'll see. Yeah, we have a wide variety of classroom stuff. We have a partnership where kids are being taught how to write resumes, the importance of a resume in terms of advancing you know, not only their youth and their goals, but their career ultimately. We have um, a lot of our players are talking to the kids about what they experienced when they grew up. You know, There's a lot of commonality there talking about the importance of education, making the right decisions, um, those kind of things. And I think when an athlete speaks to the kids, it certainly has a, a greater impact than, uh, than most of us. Earlier this week, I know you had a chance to take uh, take some of our youth from the city uh, from here up to Birmingham as part of a civil rights tour that you've done for many years. Uh, talk, talk about that program as well. Well, it's a special program. I'm honored to be able to continue to do it. Um, you know, we took 200 kids and chaperones uh, to Alabama. We went to Selma. We crossed the Pettus Bridge, talked about the history of the Civil Rights uh, March uh, from Selma to Montgomery. Went to Birmingham Civil Rights Institute, 16th Street Baptist Church, and then ended up at the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa. Coach Burns from Alabama, who's a New Orleans native, always welcomes the kid. They get to tour the facility, and, you know, by the time they're done they see history in a real life interactive way and it really I think impacts the kids in a very positive direction. One of the things that seems to come up in all of this are, are, are the ties to New Orleans. You mentioned Coach Burns, of course, who's a New Orleans native. The time you spend here, and, and, a, and a lot of the a lot of the players who are participating here today are former New Orleans high school players as well. The chance for those people to not only be able to, to just give back to the youth, but to be able to come back into their communities as well. Yeah, it uh, make, makes a big difference. Eldridge Kasner, who's here today, grew up uh, Lower Ninth Ward, went to Lawless High School, was on the trip and is here coaching today. They love coming back. I mean, you know, the one thing about New Orleans people yeah, we all know is you know down to earth, um, you know sincere, and when they can come back and make a difference uh, in their own community, and especially with youth, uh, it's very important. Eldred said something on radio early this morning that really hit home to me, and that is as he looked at the kids that were on the bus uh, on the civil rights trip, he said that was me. It's just I'm a little bit older now, but that was me. And to be able to t take a trip like that and get out of New Orleans is really special. Arnie, thanks for your time, and uh, best of luck with all of these great projects that you and the Retired Players Association Thank is doing. Thank you very much. Thank you.